Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is the 10 year update video for myself and I want to talk about what's been happening over the last 10 years and how I re-herniated my L5-S1 disc and a little bit of my L4. So, and I have the MRIs if anybody's curious because that was something that came up last time. So 10 year update video, I wanna keep things smooth, concise and to the point um, because it has been so long, I do wanna catch everybody up on what's been going on with me. So let's go back to the start of why I made these videos initially. It's because I herniated my disc in 2012 and I had surgery that same year. <clears throat> However, the surgery did not fix exactly the extent of my injuries. So I switched to calisthenics, read a lot about the injury in general and also had moved to Japan. And I worked there for four years. Um, during that time span, you know, the back was doing really well, well enough to get me back into the weights. I always have this calling. I always wanna go back to the weight training. I always want the iron. I wanna be a big boy, a Ronnie Coleman, you know? And um, naturally hurt my back squatting, going a little bit too heavy and I needed an epidural. So for those of you counting at home, that's two injuries from the back from 2012 this started we are now in 2023 um, a little bit after that we you know i put out some videos in japan you guys can see those a lot of those are like in the park a lot of calisthenics based exercises um, the big goal you know probably at that time was just be pain free don't you know try to go out there and be this big boy or set some strength records it was just to be pain free and we accomplished that um, when we left Japan. So I left Japan, I was in California for a little bit working out there, um, doing mostly calisthenics, but I had reintegrated gym training. And there is a video with me on my bike, going to the gym, talking to you guys through, you know, the exercises that I was doing to help maintain the pain-free existence that I had been experiencing and being able to work full time, all that fun stuff, and not having to ice my back, no anti-inflammatories, any of that stuff. Now let's fast forward. So Hong Kong, I moved out there with my wife. Um, and during that time, again, pain-free had actually shifted into more strength training. Um, however, <laughs> as all things happen, I, um, I didn't hit the lottery in terms of digestion. So I was having a lot of uh, bowel distress while I was out in Hong Kong and I actually needed to have a a bowel resection surgery. That was the most extreme surgery I've ever had. Um, even comparing the back, like that took a very long time to be able to, I guess, regain some normality in terms of my life from like an eating standpoint. I lost 40 pounds. There's a video on my, on my channel about how that happened. And you know, it was just really tough. Very dark, down in the dumps basically is how I describe it. I mean, the back thing is one thing where you're just in constant pain, but at least you can eat food or, you know, like there is some some niceties, but having that be so prevalent and seeing all your progress go down to basically nothing was very um, motivating in a sense, but also very sad at the same time. So um, the highlight to that though is I did get better. I did go back to weight training. My back is holding up really well. I, uh, I met a coach out there that helped me really push myself in terms of diet and nutrition. Shout out to James Hong Kong, great coach, great trainer. Um, and that is what, I guess, helped me fall in love with bodybuilding. So I did a couple of men's physique shows out there, fell in love with the process, fell in love with working with private gyms. So when I came back to the States with my wife, I actually changed professions and I became a certified personal trainer with NSAM, ISSA, and actually corrective exercise science. Obviously that's was my passion is getting people to feel pain-free and moving the best that they can. During the time span of being in the States, been about two years and a half now, um, my body weight has gone from 220 all the way to 270 in the off season. So really pushing numbers in terms of uh, where you need to be on a national level stage and um, it's been great. I love the process. I, I, to this day, I still love the process. I want to eventually be a pro bodybuilder, but you know, as all things happen, it's, it's an ebb and flow to this game, especially with me, ebb and flow. So 2023, we had just capped off a national level competition, um, placed very well. I was very excited. Um, I had a lot of momentum going into the year 2023 to continue to grow and basically showcase my best physique to date. But with the birth, of my first son, King Roman von 
King Kreitzer. Um, a lot of new uh, challenges in terms of sleeping and recovering, all that fun stuff happened. And I actually re-herniated my disc for the third or fourth time by now. And that's what we're currently combating. So everything started rearing its ugly head around March. And now that it is late April, we have a full protocol, which I'm going to list out for the viewers. So let's dive right in. Okay, so for the route that I am taking, number one, guys, figure out exactly what your issue is. Um, for me, that was imaging. So MRI, x-ray is not going to tell you shit. So MRI, if you can get an MRI approved through your insurance, definitely go and go and take it. Seems like even when I had this issue 10 years ago, there's a effective protocol that the uh, Western medical system wants to utilize for people. And good Lord, is it a painstakingly annoying process. But luckily for me, met with a chiropractor. He basically reassured me that I probably have a hurt disc herniation. In this case, it's an, ex it's an extrusion. So the, the nuclei propulsus is jutting through and putting pressure on my sciatic nerve, which is, you know, I'm, again, 10 years in the game. I'm not um, oblivious to what's happening to me. It's, it's all the same symptoms, left leg, sciatica, um, extreme hamstring tightness, uh, calf, numb, and numb sensitivity in my uh, foot. So this one was definitely the most, ooh, this one hurt probably the most, I think, of all the ones that I've had. So imaging, confirm your imaging, and then obviously to combat what's gonna be happening in terms of the inflammation, get on a good anti-inflammatory drug protocol that's recommended by your healthcare professionals, um, rest. Rest is gonna be huge. I took two weeks off of work. Um, during that time span, I did a lot of icing, laid a lot on my back. Um, I also laid prone position too. Um, Mackenzie press ups, I've detailed those pretty monotonously on previous videos. Um, but yeah, just get used to being on the floor because that's probably the only place that you're gonna be comfortable. Sitting, a lot of times not gonna be an option. I am only sitting now because I had an epidural on Wednesday to help with some of that nerve inflammation. So it's definitely helping out quite a bit. I think that I'll probably do two more, if I had to guess, before I can uh, put myself in a better position to start training again. But with that being said, um, I have a very clear timeline of like how I wanna operate from a training standpoint. Like I said, rest and being pain-free is my number one um, most important aspect of life at this moment. So three months is when I'm taking off from the gym. Weight training is gonna take a hold. I'm doing the McGill big three exercises. That's my protocol. I'll do that twice a day, followed by three um, pretty fast-paced walks, 15 minutes each. Um, I'm also reading The Gift of Injury at the moment, but I also recommend The Back Mechanic, both by the same author. Um, and if you are not reading those books, give a shot, see what you think. <clears throat> but why am I making this video? Pretty clear that this is an injury that is doesn't feel like it's as simple as you just overcome it and then that's the end of it. That I wish that was the case, but based off of my experience, that doesn't seem like that's the end of it. So it seems like it's a lifelong situation that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to have exercises that we basically do quite ritually to combat this and allow us to live our best lives. Whether your goal is to be pain-free, whether it's, you know, weight loss, nutrition, all that fun stuff, there's going to be something you're going to need to do to have a certain longevity within your back to be able to exercise or just live the best life that you can. So what I wanted to do to make this video was I wanted to showcase how I beat the disc herniation for the however many times it's been at this point, um, but not necessarily having to go the surgical, surgical route, which I had done in the past. And for me, it didn't really work out. So not saying it doesn't work. I'm sure it does for some people, but for me, unfortunately, it didn't work out. I don't want to be back on that table a second time. Um, lastly is, you know, being a certified personal trainer, being somebody that works with uh, people on a one-on-one, -on -one, um, atmosphere. I've done also just as much online with clients. So now that I'm currently in a position where I can't be training clients one-on-one -on -one due to having to lift kettlebells and weights and all those things, that's going to potentially be a detriment to what I'm doing um, in my recovery process. I'm going to be switching entirely to online. So if you feel like you need help from a nutrition standpoint, a cardiovascular standpoint, a flexibility standpoint, maybe even strength training, maybe you're enhanced in your, your protocol within your back injury, I can help you make it even better. 
Um, let's work together to be the best version of ourselves. That's my 10-year update. I'm sorry that you guys are dealing with something that I'm dealing with. Um, it's not the end of the world. We will get through this. I've gotten through this. I've tried to showcase that time and time again. But here we are, back again. Let's beat it again. Again, again, again. Stay tuned for the next video. Dragon out.